The world of COVID-19 is ever-evolving, with new developments and discoveries happening almost daily. Recently, scientists have identified a new variant named XEC, which has caught the attention of the global health community. First detected in Germany in June, XEC has now been reported in several countries, including the United Kingdom, United States and Denmark. This rapid spread has raised alarms among health officials. This new variant has raised concerns due to its potential to spread more easily, particularly as we head into the autumn months, a time when respiratory illnesses typically increase. The emergence of XEC serves as a stark reminder that the COVID-19 pandemic is not over and vigilance remains crucial. While many countries have lifted restrictions and returned to a sense of normalcy, the virus continues to circulate and mutate, adapting to new environments and hosts. Understanding the potential impact of XEC and taking appropriate precautions are crucial to protecting ourselves and our communities. This includes staying informed and following health guidelines. The good news is that experts believe existing vaccines should still offer protection against severe illness from XEC, providing a layer of defense against this new threat. However, the emergence of this new variant underscores the importance of staying up to date with vaccinations, including booster shots for those who are eligible. Booster shots can enhance immunity and offer better protection. As we navigate this next chapter of the pandemic, clear communication about new variants like XEC is essential. Transparent information helps the public make informed decisions. By staying informed and following public health guidance, we can help to mitigate the impact of XEC and future variants that may emerge. Together, we can work towards a safer future. Scientists are closely monitoring XEC to understand its potential impact on global health. Early observations suggest that XEC may have a slight transmission advantage compared to other recent variants, as noted by Professor Francois Ballou, Director of the Genetics Institute at University College London. This means that XEC might spread more easily from person to person. However, it's important to emphasize that it's still too early to determine the full extent of XEC's impact. Scientists are working diligently to gather more data and track its spread. Factors such as vaccination rates, previous infection levels, and public health measures will all play a role in shaping XEC's trajectory. Despite the uncertainty, experts like Professor Ballou remain optimistic that existing vaccines will continue to provide significant protection against severe illness, hospitalization, and death from XEC. This underscores the critical role of vaccination in mitigating the impact of this new variant. As we move forward, it's crucial to stay informed about the latest developments surrounding XEC. Public health authorities will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide updates on any changes in guidance or recommendations based on the evolving scientific understanding of this new variant. One of the challenges with tracking and managing the spread of XEC is that its symptoms are very similar to those of other respiratory illnesses, such as the common cold or flu. This can make it difficult for individuals to know whether their symptoms are due to XEC or another virus. Common symptoms of XEC infection include fever, cough, sore throat, runny nose, and loss of taste or smell. These symptoms are also common in other respiratory illnesses, making it difficult to distinguish between them based on symptoms alone. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to take precautions to prevent the potential spread of the virus. 
This includes staying home if you feel unwell, wearing a mask in public indoor settings, washing your hands frequently, and getting tested for COVID-19 to confirm the diagnosis. While most people who contract XEC will experience mild symptoms and recover fully within a few weeks, some individuals may develop more severe illness, especially those who are unvaccinated, elderly, or have underlying health conditions. If you have concerns about your symptoms, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional. Section 4 the challenge of tracking XEC. Tracking the spread of XEC presents significant challenges for public health officials who are constantly working to stay ahead of the virus. One of the main obstacles is the reduction in routine testing for COVID-19 in many countries, which has led to a decrease in the detection of new cases. With fewer people getting tested, it becomes more difficult to accurately assess the true prevalence of the virus in the community, making it harder to implement effective public health measures. Another challenge is the time lag between when a person is infected with XEC and when they develop symptoms or test positive for the virus, which can delay the identification of new cases. This incubation period can range from a few days to up to two weeks, during which time an infected individual can unknowingly transmit the virus to others, further complicating efforts to control its spread. The emergence of new variants like XEC highlights the ongoing need for robust surveillance systems that can quickly identify and track the spread of new strains, ensuring timely responses. This includes genomic sequencing to analyze the genetic makeup of the virus and identify any mutations that could make it more transmissible or cause more severe illness, which is crucial for developing targeted interventions. Despite the challenges, public health officials are using all available tools and data sources to monitor the spread of XEC, adapting their strategies as new information becomes available. This includes tracking case numbers, hospitalizations and deaths, as well as monitoring wastewater for the presence of the virus, which can provide early warning signs of outbreaks in the community. Section 5. The UK's Frontline Defence – Vaccination Efforts The UK Health Security Agency, or UKHSA, is at the forefront of the nation's response to XEC, emphasizing the importance of vaccination as the most effective way to protect against severe illness, hospitalization, and death from COVID-19. Their efforts are crucial in ensuring the health and safety of the population. The UKHSA continues to actively monitor global data on emerging COVID-19 variants including XEC, to inform public health policies and recommendations. This ongoing surveillance helps in adapting strategies to combat the virus effectively. The NHS is offering free booster shots to those who are more vulnerable to serious complications from COVID-19, including older adults, ensuring they have the best possible protection. Individuals with weakened immune systems and frontline healthcare workers are also prioritized for these booster shots. This is to ensure that those at higher risk are given the necessary protection. These booster shots are designed to strengthen and extend the protection provided by the initial vaccine doses. They are crucial in maintaining immunity over time. Dr. Gayatri Amathalingam, UKHSA Deputy Director, underscored the importance of vaccination stating that vaccination remains our best defence against COVID-19. Her message highlights the critical role of vaccines in our fight against the pandemic. She encouraged individuals eligible for the autumn booster vaccine to book their appointments as soon as they are contacted by the NHS. Early vaccination can help prevent the spread of the virus. 
the UKHSA is committed to keeping the public informed about XEC and any other emerging COVID-19 variants. Their transparency is vital in maintaining public trust and cooperation. They provide regular updates on the latest scientific findings, public health guidance and vaccination recommendations through their website.